Atlanta, scoreless sixth. Carl Pavano with a two-hit shutout. Scratch that. Gary Sheffield, solo shot is second. It's one nothing Braves. Very next guy up, it's, it's that chipper guy. Back-to-back -back jacks. First of the year for Jones. This while Russ Ortiz was combining with three relievers on a four-hitter. Next guy after Chipper, it's Andrew Jones. No relation. Back to back to back Jacks. Number three for Andrew is second home run in two days. Atlanta takes three of four from Florida. They win this one three. Martinez is healthy. Picked up Pedro's 2004 contract option worth $17.5 million. Martinez says he's thankful, but still wants to work out a long-term contract extension. And Derek Jeter made the now obligatory trip to Birmingham to visit Dr. James Andrews, who agreed the Yankee shortstop does not need surgery on his dislocated left shoulder. Jeter is expected to miss six weeks. Ball game. San Diego, San Francisco. Giants home opener. Chance to start the season 7-0 for the first time since 1930. And this will help. Jose Cruz off Oliver Perez, his third homer of the season, one zip Giants. Go to the top of the second. Xavier Nate facing Jason Schmidt. And Cruz not only does he have a bat, but he also brought the glove to work on Monday. Nice diving stop there. Bottom third, Cruz again. And well, I'm not sure if you had a glove, that's gonna matter. Two run shot is fourth, tying him for the league lead is 11th multi-homer game, 3-0 San Francisco. Very next pitch, Rich Aurelio, former driller. That's gone to left as well, his second, 4-0 Giants. Now, as you can see, it wasn't snowing and raining everywhere. A sunny, sunny day at Pac Bell. Not good for Barry Bonds. That's a tough sunfield. Lou Merloni bloops one out there, and Bonds cannot handle that. A triple for Merloni. He was three for three. Bonds seems like, yeah, stupid star. And then the same inning, another one. But this one he holds on to. Gets that one. Bonds 0 for 3, a couple of Ks. And a walk is hitting 200. Now they tied at 4. Rich Aurelia unties it. His second today. Aurelia Cruz, first Giants teammates with multi-homer games since Will Clark. Matt Williams a decade ago. 7-4. They're 7-0. Diamondbacks, Dodgers. Nine innings, not going to be enough. Top eight, D-backs down 3-2. Luis Gonzalez off Tom Martin. Solo shot, 250th of Gonzo's career. Just the second by a D-back this year. We're tied at three. Top ten, same score. Danny Batista. Paul Quantrill's pitch. Called a ball to Kazo. Maybe it was a strike. Jim Tracy's not in. Next pitch. Danny Batista up the middle. That's why you got to get him when you can. Runner in scoring position. Next batter, Steve Finley. Quantrill the pitch. This time, K-Zone says it was inside, but, you know, these things even up. Bob Brenly this time is upset. Next pitch, Finley again doesn't matter. Dumps it into left center. D-backs go up 4-3. Gonzalez scores, but Matt Manti cannot hold the lead. So we go to the top 12, tied at 4. Rookie Lyle Overbay. Pinch hitting in Manti's spot, and the phenom is phenominating. Two for 15 coming in, gets his first big league home run. A two-run shot proves to be the game winner. D-back 6-4, now 2 and 5. Wednesday night as the World Champion Angels continue their series against the Mariners. That's Wednesday night, right? Wednesday night. You can catch all the, catch all the action. ESPN 2, 10 Eastern, Wednesday night. Tuesday, the M's shut them out. Twins in the Bronx for the Yankees' home opener, which was snowed out from Monday. And how did they get rid of that snow? They put it in the dugout and they hose it down. Top four, Tory Hunter. Runners on first and second. Hideki Matsui, nice play out there to hold it to one run. Andy Pettit allowed three runs on five hits in five and two thirds. It was 3 1 Yankees after a Robin Ventura home run in the fifth. Matsui is on deck here, and Joe May is going to give Bernie a free pass, and that'll load him up for Matsui. Base is full, 3 2 pitch. Godzilla! Matsui, the first Yankee ever to hit a grand slam in his Yankee Stadium debut, and the first since Horace Clark in 65 to have his first career home run go for a grand slam. Red Sox and Jays, Derek Lowe, one and five all time in Toronto, A. Eh? Four, four in the fourth, Frank Catalano to center, and I don't want to say Johnny Damon throws like a girl or anything, but, I, you know, this isn't quite textbook form here, but it works pretty well. Chris Woodward is meets, but Jason Veritek drops it. Eric Cooper still looking at things, and then he says, you're out. 
counts. Well, Woodward never touched the plate. Charles, not really. Bottom six, Lowe has to leave with a blister on his right thumb. He allowed five runs on nine hits and five and a third. He's got a 7.94 ERA after two starts. And representing the bullpen by committee, Alan Embry, thanks for playing. Carlos Delgado, two-run shot, is third. He was two for three, drove in four. Toronto wins 8-4. Blue Jays have won four in a row. Braves Phillies, the Wolf Pack, luckily protected by a thick fur, 37 degrees. Gary Sheffield facing Randy Wolf, top 5-3-2 pitch. Kerwin Danley rings him up, and then when he argues, throws him out. And then Bobby Cox, you go away too. Larry Boa serving a one-game suspension for misbehaving during spring training. Just watch it. Doesn't have the Bobby V mustache. Did. No, he did not. Braves down 3-2 runner, first two outs. Pitcher Jason Marquis is at the bat. Wolf throws a wild pitch, so... The runner advances into scoring position, so let's get him out of there. We pinch hit for Marquis during the at-bat, and Julio Franco delivers. Marcus Giles scores. We're tied at three. That's good coaching by somebody, probably Bobby Cox in the tunnel. Bottom ten, same score, first and third, two outs. Tomas Perez off Kevin Grabowski. Pat Burrell scores, fills win at 4-3 in an extra frame. Mets Marlins, first night of a ten-game rolling for the Mets. Top third, runners in the corners, Mark Redman, Oklahoma Sooner, and oh, you are are in trouble. Ty Wigginson, three-run homer, his first, but he's got seven in his career, three off of Marlins pitchers. Four enough. Top seven, Roberto Alomar, 4-2 Mets, and Alomar had an 0 for 5 night, and well, it's a tough 0 for when you get picked by Mike Lowell. Good throw. Slide head first. I'm not sure about that. Alomar in the leadoff spot, stranded three. Armando Benitez walks Ivan Rodriguez, who walks five times in the game, tying an NL record for a nine-inning game. And then Derek Lee with two on and two out. Just a can of corn to Cliff. Benitez gets the save. New York wins 4-2. Now the happy recap. New York wins 4-2. Career starts against Texas, the ERA 3.01. They're the nasty hook for strike three on A Rod. And then bottom four again against A Rod. Got him again. A Rod came into the game batting a buck 79, nine Ks and 28 bats, and clearly didn't solve the riddle on Tuesday in the fifth. One nothing A's. Well, Rafael Palmero, he takes batting practice. That's his second of the year, 492nd of his career, eight shy of joining the 500 club. Bottom nine, 2 1 A's. Key Folk, Mike Lamb. A swing, hole strike, two outs. Next batter, Doug Lanville. Solid Midwestern catch race here. That'd be a home run if they were playing in the sideline. Milk does a body good. A's win 2 1. Zito, seven innings, one run in the win. Home opener at Safeco. Mike Sosha's World Series champion Angels in the house, as the kids say. Top one bad news for Anaheim. Troy Gloss injures his hamstring there. He would have to leave with a tight left hand. I'm doing the show with a tight left hand. Top I could two. rub that up for uh, I'd appreciate it. Jamie Moyer, that's 68 mile an hour change working all day long. 117 pitches, 75 for strikes. Moyer, seven shutout innings, allowed only four hits, struck out seven, and the M's put up a 5 nothing win. San Francisco opening the season with its seventh straight win on Monday. Franchise's best start since 1930. And that club, they went on to finish third in the NL, so we're just going to just kind of ignore that. Giants pounding the ball, those 16 home runs. So far, that leaves the majors, and perhaps even more surprising than the club's hot start. Barry Bonds, just two of those homers, tied for fourth on his own team. For the Giants, seven wins coming against the Padres. There's Barry in the bottom of the third against Jake Peavy, and he launches it off the mast of a sailboat out there in McCovey Cove, or maybe that was just a foul ball. Either way, it's home run 616, third of the year. Look at it again, and Peavy just got it in, as they say, the wheelhouse. Giants cut the lead to one. Bottom five runners first and second with two outs, and the Padres, they're thinking, intentionally walking Bob. <laughs> You're a chicken! <laughs> Next batter, Gardo Alfonso. Who's bad behind Barry? The guy who just flied out to short right and left three guys on base. Padres out of the jam, and yeah, walking Bonds works there. Bottom seven, Bonds again. Other way, nothing. Oh, and San Diego managed to score nine runs and win 9-4. Jens now seven. Diamondbacks and Dodgers in L.A. Kazishi looking for his first win. 2 nothing Dodgers. Luis Gonzalez in the fourth, his second of the year. This tied it at two. Ishii went six. Allowed three runs on four hits. Top six, it's Gonzalez again. Darrell Ward's out there. Full extension. Brian Jordan, your thoughts. 
They stuck the landing. He's wearing gloves. It's cold in LA. 3 3 in the seventh. Paul Laduca. Double off Miguel Batista. They are going to wave Cesar as Turris. The ball gets kind of hung up out there. It's 4 3 LA. Laduca 3 for 3. He's hitting 345 this year. His Turris is safe, but he kind of bunny hops the plate right here. Down in front. We're watching a replay, please. Not sure if he touched the base. Eric Gagne got his first save. 5-3 Dodgers win. Cardinals at Coors. Rockies looking for their fifth straight. Top four, Jim Edmonds. All over the Aaron Cook offering. That's a towering shot. Three-run homer. Edmonds, 30, ton of career high with five RBI. 9-7 Rockies in the sixth. CJ! Crushed. His first of the year. It's 11-8 Colorado, but the Rockies were down one in the bottom of the seventh. It's Todd Helton. He turns on a Dustin Hermanson pitch. Helton second, tied it at 12. Helton four for four with three walks. How's your on-base percentage? Bottom nine, two outs first and second, Larry Walker. To right, they are going to wave Jay Payton. Eduardo Perez is throwing, and here we go. Payton is meat, and they will go to extra innings. Bottom 11, Larry Walker. They're loaded. The 1 2 3 in an inning DP. Walker hitting just 172 so far. Top 13, two on for Mike Matheny. The Rockies. Deep to left, and watch Gabe Kapler's glove here. He's got a beat on this one. It stayed in the park, but Kapler knocked it out. Matheny, three for six, drove in four. He's hit safely in all six games so far this season. Yeah, that's a home run. Cardinals win an extras, 15-12. 2,000 plus, freezing their butts off in Cleveland. Indians gave everybody a ticket to any game in April or May as a thank you. Tribe hosting the White Sox. Bartolo Colon looked good, allowed two runs on six hits and six. Struck out six in his return to the Jake. Top 10, Jose Valentin. And that with a 3-3 game in the 10th. White Sox are going to win this thing 5-3. About 10,000 fans left at the end. Game time temperature, a toasty 22 degrees. Orioles in Tampa Bay. Bottom 10, Baltimore up 7-6. That's pitching coach Mark Wiley out to talk to Jorge Julio. Remember that. Bases loaded, Marlon Anderson. Jerry Hairston Jr. bobbles it. Davey Cruz off the bag. Everybody's safe. Ben Greaves scores. Devil Rays tied at 7. Mike Hargrove comes out to argue the call, and while he's out there, he decides he'll go to the mound to talk to Julio, but then he forgets that Wiley's already been out there, so now he's got to take Julio, his closer, out of the game with the score tied and the bases loaded. Buddy Groom quickly gets up there to warm up. Lou notices what's going on. Hey, he's got to take Julio out. Get Broom in there, and there's Buddy Groom in a tough spot. Next up, Travis Lee off Broom's glove. Carl Crawford scores, and the Devil Rays win the game 8-7. Hargrove afterwards said, all of a sudden, it popped back into my mind that Mark had already been out there. Mr. Cub, Ernie Banks on her Tuesday, the only Cubs to hit 500 home runs. Game time pitch at 32 for Dusty's Wrigley debut after getting snowed out. I mean, it was very cold. I mean, it was the coldest I've ever been on a baseball field. But you have to eliminate those thoughts and, uh, you know, you got to try to put the elements out of your, out of your mind. It's chilly. Top five, Matt Clement facing Jamie Carroll. Alex Gonzalez starts the 6-4-3. Clement looked great, allowed just three hits and seven and a third. This was one of the hits. Vladimir Guerrero. Top seven, the solo shot. First guy to get past second on Clement. Guerrero's first home run of the year. Top eight, Expos down 6-1. They are loaded. Joe Borowski facing out Vlad the Impaler, and he gets him. Cubs win 6-1. Expos will warm up in Puerto Rico at the end of the week. Reds Astros, bottom 8 1 1 game. Ryan Dempster on the mound. Jeff Blum. Barry Larkin. Well, he's not in center, but he's doing good work at shortstop. Gets it over to Aaron Boone with the glove. Nice defense. Yeah, don't send him to center field quite yet. Top nine. We're still tied at one. One out, two on. Jose Gu Jose Manuel Guillen, you get in this house right now. Jeff Kent turns the double play. Guillen strands a couple of runners there. Bottom nine, guess what? One, one, one on, one out. Brad Osmus. And there's Larkin. Got that. Dempster escapes after that double play. One run, seven hits, nine innings. We go to extras. Top ten. Jason LaRue. Jack me. That's going way back. Not bad. First of the season for the kid from Houston, Texas. Salute. Reds win 2-1 in 10 innings.